We just finished up a uh, fantastic uh, outdoor season. The track and field teams traveled up to uh, Ypsilanti, Michigan for the uh, Horizon League Outdoor Championships, and uh, the women's team came away with the, the university's first and only triple crown. So we followed up our indoor title, which was a first, with an outdoor title, also a first, and uh, put that all together with our cross-country title in the fall, and the women just had a tremendous season. Very exciting to win all three of those and uh, walk away victorious. Had 10 uh, wins on the uh, weekend with the women's team, 10 individual titles. Candace Carajan was just fantastic. She had her hand in four victories. She won the long jump, she won the triple jump, she won the 400 hurdles and put up a great time in the 400 hurdles. I believe she's moved herself into the top 15 or 20 in three events. The four by four relay, she also anchored that to victory and it looks like we're uh, sitting around 22nd or 23rd in the west region so that relay has a great shot at advancing. Uh, still another weekend of competition to go to see how the um, form chart holds up. Uh, some other winners on the weekend, Gina Valgoy won three events and uh, was the track MVP. Candace was the high point award MVP I should mention. Allison Sacconi who's been tremendous in the throws uh, this year. Uh, she's won a lot of events but she's never won a conference title and she did that in the last throw of the weekend. She won the discus on Sunday and I'm very very proud of her. On the men's side, of course, Declan Murray went out in style and uh, won the 800 again, and uh, he led the 4x4 to victory. Uh, we had a, a number of fantastic performances. I would say one of the big highlights of the weekend had to be James McLaughlin. James won the uh, long jump, and then he was on the runway in the triple jump, and we tried to rest him a bit, and uh, he took uh, his first jump and uh, put a leading mark out there. And then he didn't jump until the last round because two other fellows from other teams had passed him. So he got on the runway and in one jump just jumped to victory. So on his very last attempt. So pretty exciting. You can see what type of competitor he is. He wasn't going to uh, just let that go. So uh, he got out there and performed quickly. And then he jumped over and ran on the 4 by one and uh, we ran well there. Two school records in, in the 4 by one relays. Uh, but just great performances throughout. Just to, almost too many to mention. Uh, we're gearing up now this weekend for the North Central Invitational. It's kind of a tune-up or a last chance for a few of our athletes. Uh, before we head on down to Austin here in a week or so, uh, to the NCAA first round, we could have as many as 14 or 15 athletes in that meet, depending on how this final uh, list shapes up. And so that's a lot of representation. I think we had five a year ago, so we're going to be close to uh, 15 this year.